Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to do a fun video. Uh, me, me and Mr. Bot, Mr. Bag O Day. We're going to dye up some yarn. Now, please don't take my video as a yarn dyeing educational video because <laughs> we suck at yarn dyeing. We only dye for fun and for a fun video. And we do not use chemical dyes. We use things, we're going to be using food coloring um, to dye our yarns today. So I'll show you the yarns that I have to dye. Um, so this stuff that I have here came from mystery boxes from Kramer Yarns. Kramer Yarns is in the United States. This is a big hank. It's probably like at least eight ounces. Now I can tell by looking at it that it is a roving style, four weight, 100% non superwash wool. I don't, it doesn't have a tag on it, but I can tell that that is what that is. And then this, I'm not certain what it is. I can tell it's about a, maybe a DK weight sport weight between a sport and a dk um it's got it could be 100 wool i hope it doesn't have acrylic in it because acrylic i can't dye but we're gonna try it out and see what happens and this also came from west or no i'm sorry uh kramer yarns this is a, a bulky 100 non-superwash wool which i will dye up and see it, i can tell it's 100 non-washed wool just by looking at it and smelling it. Um, so I'm going to dye that up. So those should all dye nicely. This one I'm not certain, but hey, we're going to give it a go. Um, and then I have, I'm going to be dyeing, this came from Ireland. It's 100% Irish wool. This is undyed. I'm going to dye it. It's interesting to see what it's going to look like dyed. Um, it's 100% Irish wool, and it is a four-weight yarn. Super cool to see what it's going to look like. Now, with these 100% wools that are not uh, pre-washed, you have to be careful on them so they don't uh, felt because you do use heat. But I've dyed them a lot of times and they never felt up on me. Okay, and then I'm going to try this. Um, I'm only going to try one hank at first because I don't know how it's going to turn out. This I bought from the Wool Warehouse. It's Sublime. Um, it's the brand uh, by Sidar. It's called Isla. It's a DK. It is a cotton bamboo blend. I've never dyed cotton bamboo. I've only dyed wool. But it's a natural fiber, so usually natural fibers fibers will dye. I don't I don't really know though because I've never I never done it. Um, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'll, I'll only do one hank and see how it turns out. If it turns out good, I'll do the others. But if it turns bad out bad, I don't want to waste these because I can use these for another project. And then I'm going to dye some of my favorite. West Yorkshire Spinners. This is their it, that I have trouble pronouncing words. It's seventy percent uh, Falkland wool and thirty percent British alpaca DK Naturals. This should die up nice. I think it should die up well. It's going to be interesting to see what that color, what color I put with it, what it looks like. I'm so excited to dye these. I think it's going to be fun. You guys ready? Uh, we're just going to show you like. The basics remember just take our videos as non-educational just for fun um there are some a lot of great yarn dyeing channels that you can watch if you really want to learn how to uh, dye with like chemical dyes and stuff like that um, um even natural dyes and stuff just but me i do it for fun and then i dye them up and then every once in a while i throw them in a giveaway so just for fun all right let's do this Okay, so here is the type of dyes I use. You can get these at Walmart, Amazon, any place like that. They're just regular food colorings, and then these are gel food colorings. I think they work a little bit better, but they, these work good too. This is what I'm going to be using today. Um, rubber gloves because I always dye my hands, and then I have blue hands for my tutorials for like a month. All right, and then you're also going to need some vinegar. So this is this plain white distilled vinegar and what i do i'll show you what i do now remember this is us like our way it's not the correct way but it works for it's us not doesn't the way it's not the way but it's our way and then um we're going to be using the stove top and the oven and pans and pot and make a big mess but it's all for fun isn't it yes so on the stove i have plain tap water in this pot and probably two cups of vinegar boiling or i'm going to bring it to it's good enough right now you can see it's almost to boil but not quite okay remember plain tap water 
and about two cups of vinegar are in this. The vinegar is what helps hold the color in, so I'm told. So I just use it because that's what I get told to use. <laughs> All right. Now you need to choose what uh, hank of yarn you want to use first, and you need to get it completely wet with just water, tap water from out of your sink. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one. I'm going to do this big bad boy first, and I'm going to soak it up with plain tap water. Okay, so now what I did, I took a few zip ties, or Mr. Bod did, and put them really loosely around the hank so it doesn't get tangled up whenever I uh, try to undo it and rinse it. Have it has had, ties, but it's it does like have ties. So yeah, now this pan is the biggest one I have, um, and I, I hope it works. It may not, but hey, it's all just for fun, right? It's all just for fun. It's all just for fun. All right, so I wetted him down and I put him in here. Now I took some of my vinegar water off the stove, as you can see, and I put it in glasses. And I'm gonna mix my food coloring, uh, whatever colors I want, into it. But first, I'm gonna put a little water that I have, the vinegar water off the stove, into this pan. here of the boiling vinegar water and I just put a little bit of whatever color I choose. What color you got there? Purple? Teal. Oh, teal. Really don't take a lot, but the more you use, the darker it's going to be. So, and then you mix it until it's completely dissolved. And then I think I'm going to do what other color, Mr. Bog? I got orange, do teal. Do a green. Orange, teal, and green? Yeah. Is it steel blue, right? Yeah. Teal blue. Do the, um, do the green. I'll use this green. Since it's just a drop. use the droppy green? Put some drops in there. I don't know. Douse it down with drops. There we go. And then you stir that up. Probably not with the same spoon. Unless I rinse it, I guess. Let me rinse it off. Just got to make sure. You got to stir it quite a bit on the gel ones. Because they don't... It takes a little bit for them to... Uh, you thirsty, Clark? Evaporate. Yeah. Did you hear him back there? Yeah. Stir up this green one. And I'm going to add a little bit more water to the orange. Okay, now I'm just going to take my colors um, and dump it on the yarn. That's enough. But we'll see what happens, okay? Then orange or teal next. Orange or teal? Teal? Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. It's hot. Okay, so this teal is going to mix with that orange in the green, which is fine. Okay, so this orange is going to mix with the teal, but that's okay. They mix. They create weird colors. Well, mine do anyways. Not professionals. They know how to do it. I don't. That green ain't very dark, is it? Okay. No. Now I'm just going to kind of press it down a little bit. And I'm going to stick this in the oven. I don't know. My oven set at 200. Until the water looks clear. Like this water. That means it's soaked up all the dye. You think the zip ties will melt? Uh, no. I no, doubt it. Not at 200. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, this one is the Sublime. It's the bamboo cotton blend that I do not know how it's going to turn out. But I uh, put it in. I got it wet and then I put it in my pan and I put some plain boiling, or not quite boiling, uh, tap water and vinegar water in it. And now I have my dyes. I have copper and brown I mixed up. This is with vinegar and hot water also. Ooh. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I love copper and brown. It's gonna look good. I don't know what this is gonna look like. Uh, dried. Dyed. Dyed and dried. It's not about the destination. It's about the ride. It's about the ride. You're right, Mr. Vaughn. I should be flipping it over. Um, my glove busted. So uh, my hands are dyed, and I have no choice but to do tutorials with dyed hands. Sorry, guys. I'm going to push these under the water. It makes you wonder if they were talking about the yarn when they named it hand dyed or the hands. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yes. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll try it out see. 
This could look it like... It coffee-y on that one side. Coffee-ish. I guess I could have left a little white in it, huh? You can leave a little white in it. Go yeah, ahead. but I want to make sure it gets all covered. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, if it's all covered, there won't be no white. Put a little bit of plain uh, vinegar water that's hot. That way all the yarn is covered. Here we go. It's all, all covered. Right, let's see what happens. That might look really cool. Nick, it's dark enough over here. It's a matter of opinion, babe. I, I don't know what it's going to look like when it's done. I think it'll be pretty cool. I didn't leave no white, did I? Oh, well. Okay, now I'm going to throw this one in the oven. Light, some light in and it. I'm going to check on the other one and just kind of push it down a bit and maybe not stir it too much, but make sure help, it's... Help it absorb it. Make sure it's all covered. All right, I'm all throwing right. this in. All right, now this is my West Yorkshire spinner yarn. That's 70%... Right? Falkland? Yeah. Wool Falkland and 30% British alpaca. So, and it's the gray color. Uh, so I'm gonna do it solid color. I'm gonna color it burgundy. So I have my colored, or my plain tap water with vinegar that's not boiling, but really, really hot. And here is my burgundy color. I'm just gonna dump it on it because I'm just gonna do it. That's burgundy? That's burgundy. Well, it looks brown -gidy. That does, what it said. Okay, well, I guess I kinda see it there. I'm going to dump it all over it, and I'm going to kind of... Oh, well, my hands are already compromised for tutorials, so... Isn't that water hot? Yes, it's very hot. But I want to make sure it gets all over in it. I see the steam coming off. Woo! Of that's hot. Okay, so once I get this mixed in, I'm going to throw it in my oven for a little bit and probably take the other one out. Okay, so here's the first one we did. I took it out of the oven, and I flipped it because the bottom side wasn't getting no color. It looks good on the other side. So you can see the other side. There. It did really good. I'm just going to take this leftover brown and copper that I have and dump it on and hope for the best. So this is copper. I might as well dump it on the orange side here. Might as well. Let, like it, I... let it blend with a similar friend. And brown, I don't know how it's going to mix well with these, but whatever. Only time will tell. I think that brown can get down anywhere. Brown can get down. Brown to my fave. It can mix with anything you want. I'm going to push that down a bit. Hey, put it back in the oven, and you can only hope for the best. Okay, I do not know what Mr. Bot is doing here. This is his homemade contraption. Don't ask uh, me. But he I has... was inspired by the Crayola spin art. Okay, the Crayola spin art inspired him to make this. Now, what he has there is 100% Irish wool he, that he wetted down with... Uh, Tap water or vinegar water? Vinegar water. Vinegar water, okay. No, 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 it was tap water. Okay. Was Are you gonna put water. vinegar water on it too? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. dye it after this. Now he's taking regular food coloring to the, and he's dropping it on there. Interesting, Mr. Bob. It's not as sturdy as a Crayola thing. Well, this is your first. He's using red. Hey, this is pretty interesting. See, we don't do this for like... We're just doing it for fun. We don't sell this stuff. It's just like for fun. <laughs> it's a little janky, Mr. Bot. Well, but hey. The, the yarn weighs. I couldn't balance it very well. Oh, it's dying in my arm. <laughs> if it makes something cool, you never know. Oh. Holy crap, you just splatter die on me. I splatter die everywhere. Still using green? Alright, now you're going with... This is probably a wasted eye, but... No... Blue? Yeah. I'm gonna have to flip it over, too, so... I don't know about this, Mr. Bud. It could be interesting in the end. You never know. It could be a complete failure. It could be but a failure. at least I tried. That's all you... That's all we can ask for. Now what color you got? Pink? Oh, Mr. Bud's going all out with the colors. Yeah. Now I'm gonna unscrew it. Did you use all the mm -hmm. colors? Alright. Hold on, I gotta flip it. Oh, flip it. Flip it good. See, this is nah, just nah, nah, I, nah. Use, I use milk caps. And... Oh, yeah, he uses what he has. It's okay. It's MacGyver. You do what you do. That's what I gotta do. It looks like a, a dang mess, Mr. Bot. It's like a murder scene. I guess, with blue and green. In an and, art store. In an art store. Yes. Murder at Michael's. Ugh. So now he's flipping it and he's gonna do. I don't know what he's gonna do with it afterwards. Don't ask me. I'm gonna dye it. I never know what he's gonna do. I try the I try to do it 
Like I'm supposed to. The, she like, follows all the rules, you goody goody. <laughs> I don't even follow the, not even follow the rules, but I I did just try to do it the best I could. She doesn't get crazy with it. I don't get crazy well, with I it. Okay, Evelyn, drip some on. Here Ready? we go. Do it. Go, Eb, go. Get it on the yarn. <laughs> it's fun for the whole family. I can die on you. We're gonna die on you. <laughs> it's hard. in the middle on the cardboard. Woo. Okay, I... I have no idea what Mr. Boss plans it are for this. It doesn't even look like hardly any got on the yarn, but but I'm I'm interested to see what happens next. What are you gonna do now? I'm you, gonna dye it like yellow. Are or... you gonna emerge it in some water and see what happens? Ready for water? Sure. Let's I don't do know. It. And dye it and dye it another color. Yeah, let me do Let's do this. All right. Okay, so I put it in some vinegar water here, and it appears just to turn like black or purple. <laughs> but. <laughs> I guess I should have let it dry for a while and then try to dye it like a, um, I was going to dye it like a yellow or something. It could turn out cool like this. You never know. It, it'd be interesting. I don't know. You, you know, you can't. Well, if it's anything like me, you could do the dorkiest thing and then just turn out super cool. I don't know about how <laughs> super cool you are. Well, what I'm are you doing some, now? I'm pouring some more dye in here. All right. So Mr. Boz is pouring. Oh, you got to You got to li mix gotta that liquid up. A little bit. Yeah. Gonna He's going to put some gel dye in it, and then I guess we'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. Okay, so I took mine out of the oven, and it's a, some of it didn't get dyed on the inside, but that's okay. It's okay to have some white spots, I guess. I'm going to rinse it now. So what you do is you take it, and you rinse it um, until there no more your water runs clear. Like... No dyes even out. What color, do you rinse yours in cold or what? I usually I use, use cold. I usually use like lukewarm or something. I don't think it really matters. I'm not sure, but. I, so here he is. He's just rinsing it and wringing it and he's gonna do this until it runs clean. It looks pretty burgundy-ish, don't it? It does, yeah. I don't know how well your Corella splatter thing worked. But I could have made that better. I made that in like three minutes. That's so. okay. It was cardboard. Though. You tried. We'll see what old, it looks like when it's boxes. all rinsed out. So yeah, you just keep rinsing it until your water runs clean, and then you have to hang it to dry. Should I have let this sit and dry for a while before I rinse it? Um, no. Or does that work too? I don't think that. Keep the color out. I have no idea. Any yarn dyers can let me know in the comments. We should have watched the video before we did this. I just go with the flow. Instead of watching the video, we just make the video. <laughs> I watched videos before, but. It's just uh, more fun to experiment? Yeah, it's more fun to experiment. Well, we're not selling it. So long, right as long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. You having a good time? I'm having a good Evelyn, time. Evelyn, you having a good time? Yes. All right, that's all that matters. I'm having a good time. Okay, this is that other Big Hank. I know it has wool in it. I don't know if it's 100%, but we're going to see how it turns out. So I have... Um, I think it's 7%. One of these are black, and one of them are teal, but they both look... Okay, this green one is black, so let's just... Pour it in the middle there. This green one is black? Yeah, it turned out green, but it said it was black. I don't know. Oh. Interesting. Teal? Mm hmm. I think this one's going to be cool. Orange. What do you think a about that, of, Rose? A lot of the oranges don't in the black. That's okay. That's okay. It's nice. It'll give that little I hope it gets tie dye effect. Side, and we don't have to flip it. But whatever. I'll leave some white splotches in this one. How about that? Just a second. You want to put some more color in? A little bit more teal left. Nice. Nice. Woo! Hot. 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 Burn in my hands into the oven it goes okay last one experiment this is like a tie-dye experiment so i used a whole bunch of um zip ties for a tie-dye i didn't have any rubber bands using all my zip ties and i'm gonna just dump the three primary colors on it blue red and yellow i'm gonna see what happens let's see what happens so i have it wet and then i'm gonna put it in my vinegar water and dump my colors on and then we'll see how she goes i'm excited Woo! Okay, this is what it looks like. All right, here, I'll hold you up. We can only hope for the best now. Oh, that's awesome. What do you think, Ev? I 
I like it. Is it going to work out? Yeah. You think maybe, just maybe, it'll look like the rainbow? Yes. Oh, maybe. we'll see. Okay, here's our, the tie-dyed one. We rinsed it. It looks weird. But hey, let's cut off some. I think it looks cool. Cut the ties if you dare. I don't, don't know. Don't cut if the I yarn. Can. I kind of, you put them on there real tight. I did. Ooh, you're going to cut your yarn. Why don't you do it? Okay, I'll try. Doesn't look that way you can that blame rainbow? me. It doesn't look that rainbow. Well, it's. Oh, it looks like hey, it's brown. Things happen. <laughs> things happen. Brown's my favorite color. There's brown rainbow somewhere in the universe. You put too much colors. Oh, I don't know. I only use three. And mix them too. We might have to take a small commercial break for this and come back. All right. After these messages, we'll be right, right back. back. Okay. All so, right. after trying a bunch of tools here, this one works the best. It takes and a little longer, but. My nail thing? Your nail thing. This one works the best. You know, while we were taking a little break there, one of my friends called me and asked what I was doing. I said, Diane Yarn with Crystal. And he goes, dying yarn, why are you doing that? And I just told him that I was dying to see you. Who, me? Just dying to see you. That's... Not like something I would do by myself. I'm just dying to see you. That's sweet. That's so Mr. Rod. Totally. Oh, God, I this guess... This is cool. It's working. Uh, Ooh, I like it. It's weird. All right, let us get these clips That's off. That's why I like it. And we'll uh, show you the finished product. All right, here's what our tie-dyed version looks like. It's Ooh, weird, but... I love it. it makes... Okay, here they are. I'm letting them dry. I got a fan on them. They're hanging up from my ceiling. All right, time to show you my finished <laughs> finished dye jobs here. Okay, so this was my tie-dyed one. I don't know. What do you think? You guys can help me name these in the comments. Next time, I'm going to get rubber bands and do it properly. Probably with a four weight. But I think it's kind of neat. I think it tie dye gone awry. I don't know. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's like a bulky five wool. So let me know what you guys think of these. So that's a tie dyed one. This one is really pretty, I think. It has about every color in it. This is like a, between a two and a three weight wool. Um, it's got black, it's got red, it's got yellow, it's got turquoise, it's got blue, it's got purple, green, white. This one turned out pretty good, I guess. What do you guys think? Needs a name. A lot, of, probably a lot of yardage in that too. Oh, it's pretty. Took a long, <laughs> took me a while to get all that black rinse out of it, but it, it turned out really nice. It's lots of colors, lots of colors in that one. Name for that one. Name for that two. We'll call it the two weight yarn. Okay, now this is my big bulky. I don't know what happened to this. This is like a half a pound of yarn, maybe more, of 100% wool roving. It's not pre-washed, so it would felt nicely. And it looks like a bulky five, I guess. Between a four and a five weight, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. I don't know how much I like that one. I like that it's a roving wool, but I don't know. The colors, they didn't get extremely dark on it. Maybe I didn't let them set long enough. I don't know. But that bad boy... Needs a name. Maybe we'll just call him Bad Boy. Big Bad Boy. Okay. And then we have... This was the uh, West Yorkshire Spinners that I dyed. So it was this one right here. And I dyed it straight uh, burgundy. Just solid. And this is how it turned out. It's actually kind of pretty. It's a DK. And it still has some gray in it. It's cool, isn't it? What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. I'll probably use it on something. I don't know. I don't usually use these. I just keep them for a rainy day, and sometimes I throw them in a giveaway just for fun. I never sell them, but they're so cool because they're they're not they're not definitely not good enough to sell. But they are. This one's pretty cool with that gray still in it. Okay, now this one was the next one was the one Mr. Bot did that Crayola experiment thing on. It was a 100% Irish wool. It was this one right here. And this is what it turned out when he was done with it. Like brown and some pinks. But you can also see speckles of green and other colors that are just barely dotted in there when he did that dot thing. I don't know. 
brown and this one's pretty it's pretty but it didn't turn out like i thought it would i don't think it didn't turn out like he thought it would he said next time you're gonna do it better but it's still pretty it's pretty yarn he did a good job on that now this last one is super weird i only did one of these because it did not turn out okay this was the sublime um by sadar uh isla yarn it's a dk uh cotton bamboo blend okay so i dyed this copper and brown and this is what color it turned out tonal pink that was copper and brown it set in that water of copper and brown for a long long time and then when i rinsed it this is what it came out as so yeah it's pretty i like it i think i'll call it uh i don't know it's Evelyn's favorite, so maybe I'll call it Rose Petal. But yeah, I didn't want to do it anymore because obviously if Copper and Brown turned to pink, I don't know what the other, or just like tonal pink, I don't know what the other colors are going to turn it. So, and I didn't want to waste it, that yarn, because it's it's pretty yarn. But it's the first time dyeing a cotton bamboo blend. It's weird that Brown and Copper turned pink, but what if? It's pretty still. Tonal pink. So what do you guys think? You can You can be honest. Remember, I'm no expert, and I can't even hake them up very good. I suck at hanking yarn. So I got my cotton bamboo blend that turned tonal pink. Mr. Bod's whirly gig splattered thing that turned brown and uh, purple. Different colors of purple, actually. There's a few different. You probably can't really see them in the camera. This one was my West Yorkshire Spinners. I really like this one. It, I dyed it in burgundy, and it still has some gray streaks through it. Wish you guys could see it better. It's really pretty. But again, I'm partial to West Yorkshire spinners. And we got the big old bad boy here. Who just turned out how, how he turned out. I couldn't even hardly hank him. <laughs> he's, got, he's got kind of all colors in him. I don't know. He's he's kind of just a flop, I think. I don't know what to do with him. Um this one I really like. I think it took the colors really well. I mean, the yellow and the blues and the black and even the red, they all saturated it really well. I think it turned out quite nice. It's probably my, I don't know, second favorite maybe. And this one was neat. My tie-dyed one, gone crazy. But next time I'm going to use real rubber bands, like I said, and I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to tie-dye a hank of yarn like they do a shirt. I'm going to wad it all up in a bunch of rubber band and then dump some dye on it. See what it looks like. I might do it one solid color next time. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? This big bad boy here. I don't know. He's crazy. He's crazy. I think my favorite is the West Yorkshire Spinners. And this would be my second runner up. The two weight. Um, but I do like. I like them all actually. They're pretty cool, I guess. This one's weird, but um, they're all pretty neat, you know, for experimenting with yarn, dyeing. It's fun. I had a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Remember, don't take yarn dyeing lessons from me. I can't even hank a skinny yarn. Look at it. Look how bad they're hanked up. Just uh, enjoy the entertainment purpose. Bye, guys. Remember, let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. And you could say none of them if you want. You could say they all suck. I won't take offense to that. Bye, guys. Stay safe.